You know what I can't wrap my head around? How in the hell did white people convince the world that black people are dangerous and to be feared? So why didn't I flinch? Because the laws of science differ fundamentally from those of... I mean, you would think we had a history of telling white people where they could go to school or where they could eat. Do black people have a history of going to predominantly white churches and setting up bombs and taking the lives of innocent white people and children? Maybe black people have a history of getting a mob of us together on a Sunday to go and kidnap and string up a white person from a tree and then turn it into a whole block party where we celebrate, barbecue, and just have a good merry old time. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, we dictated where white people could live and if they were to be approved or denied for loans based off their skin color. Hmm. The point is, the greatest weapon is not a bullet. It's propaganda. Because with propaganda, you can affect the group's reputation. And with reputation, that dictates perspective. And with reputation, that dictates perspective. And with reputation, that dictates perspective. You sure about that? That's why? Authorities are trying to figure out who opened fire at a Juneteenth celebration in the Chicago suburb of Willowbrook. That was overnight. One person died and at least 22 others were injured. Investigators say several of those who were hurt were trying to flee the chaos. And with reputation, that dictates perspective. It's for some reason y'all don't see the present, but y'all focus on the past. Well, how did the white people, uh, how did white people teach everybody that black people are this? How in the hell did white people convince the world? No, the white man didn't teach the black, uh, teach anybody nothing. You get me? They did the slavery thing. We got free. And from that moment, we taught everybody everything about us. My family, we moved to Chicago in August of 1919. This was a month after the famous race ride, but that did not deter people like my father and mother from bringing their families north. They came for three principal reasons. To be able to fight back if they were attacked, to be able to vote, and to be able to have a better education for their children. In that area, what uh, Robert Abbott calls the Black Belt, and which Sinclair Drake labeled as uh, Brownsville, and which most uh, Caucasians, and they call it the ghetto, the Black Ghetto. In that neighborhood, in that community, everything that I could want was there. It was like a little city within a city. You had independent, parallel institutions, parallel economic, parallel religious, parallel political. Your, your father and your mother might work outside, but they would come back in the neighborhood to spend whatever money they had to spend. So the dollar actually turned around in the old black belt more than six times. So we felt a sense of independence. It was just, it was overcrowded. So it was sort of an optimism in the community. Though we lived in a period of the depression, we were not depressed. Putang ina! Si Optimum Pride! Poking ina nga Optimum Pride! Babe! Yeah, I'll frolic your ass to the store and get me some beer, nigga! He was miserable just for the sake of being miserable. But what I remember most was his unwarranted hatred of the white man. God damn, crackers. Black man can't get ahead for nothing. You get what I'm saying? We went through a whole period, a long time of peace, where it looked like we was progressing, where everything was pretty much moving in the right direction, and then boom, y'all switched. You tell me, oh, they the one sun in the crack and all that other... Did they make you smoke it? You get me? And you tell me that, oh, they, uh, they, uh, infused it in our, did they make you continue doing it? You get what I'm saying? It's like, 
it's like at what point do we blame ourselves like right now we can show you video after video of black people running into stores and stealing <laughs> video after video did the white man do that no we did it we can show you video after video of niggas killing each other left and right did the white man do that and you know the you know the sound and you know something stupid about to happen when you hear that it said i'm on the block about to put slides chop them up oh my god when i hear that i hear up and flip past that because i know something stupid is about to happen but did did the white man do that no we did that Y'all, y'all are real good at running back to slavery to blame the white man. But what, at what point are you going to tell yourself like, Hey, we need to do something ourselves, your neighborhoods. What the fuck classify a neighborhood, uh, a suburban neighborhood and a project? What's the difference? You want to know the difference? How people take care of that neighborhood. You get what I'm saying? That's it. Y'all can actually turn a project into a Trump hotel if y'all wanted to. Well, you only talk about white supremacy. I don't see a problem in racism anymore. Watch this. Race is the root word. Root is the root word. Ism and ist is the act of the word, right? Mm -hmm. So white people are supposed to take care of white people first. They're supposed to get themselves the Grammys first, the movies first, because don't lions take care of lions? Mm -hmm. Tigers take care of tigers. It's not white people's racism that's the problem. It's black people's lack of racism mm. we're supposed to be racist too and we're not we got to make black people love themselves again yes sir that's all that's the reason mm -hmm. it's psychology it's not business because people say well you got to give black people the keys to business david banner you a multi-millionaire without music how, how can you teach black well the truth is i can teach you how to do it but if you don't like black people subliminally, if we do a black movie, you know, black people did do movies. Even example. Think about it. The A-list white artists who, who I mean, actors, you can't pay them to be in a black movie. Do you see them in black productions? No, you don't see them in black productions. Yeah, before the million, they want to do a right, dollar movie. Right, right, because they want to they want to keep their fame and their money in their community. If y'all came together. If y'all did, if y'all took care of your area, you can make, man, it was one point where everything that black people did, white people was behind them, sniffing after them, trying to, trying to steal this ideal, steal that ideal, steal this creative, uh, and, and then it switched. It's like y'all trying to be like them and y'all look bad doing it. Any appliance with the MyDia logo is reliable and designed to make yourself at home. And it was my idea. You get what I'm saying? At what point are you going to blame yourself? Happy Juneteenth, to everybody. I love y'all. I really do. Uh, that's why I'm, that's why I'm talking like this. You get what I'm saying? We got to blame ourselves, bro. You get what I'm saying? Either you're going to be, uh, uh, you're going to be a part, you're going to be a part of the solution, or you're going to be a part of the problem. You get what I'm saying? You get me? Nobody. You can't. At this point, you can't blame nobody but us. You get me? Oh, they they messing it. Well, we can't go to work in these jobs and they're taking this. No, you choose to want the shit that they try to sell you. You get me? You choose to take your hard earned money and spend it on clothes and shit. We are the biggest consumer base in the fucking world. We buy everything they throw up under our face. Like here, nigga, take this. And, uh, so yeah, we, we do that. What if we took our money and put it where our mouth is at? You get what I'm saying? Imagine you get me, but no, we're too busy taking their handouts, doing these stupid ass uh, ads and shit like that for the white man. Every time you look up, you see a black person with a white person. It's like, at what point are we going to be with ourselves? I'm a bad you a prostitute. Let's enjoy it, you and me. <laughs> well, just because they give us a movie role, do we have to take it? Where is the pride at? Y'all don't know how to say no. 
You get what I'm saying? No, but they convince y'all that everybody that is like y'all is y'all enemy. You get me? It's only two sets of uh, black people. And then there are anomalies like me who can see everything. You get me? The ones who run to the past to blame everybody. How in the hell did white people convince the world? God damn crackers. Black man can't get ahead for nothing. And then the ones who or say fuck air every other nigga they trying to be white themselves that's 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 basically where, where we at it's only two types you get me two types that's it and then there's me you get me who has to be a part of this i'm like that guy in class who didn't do nothing when the teacher left out the room but then he came back and it come back catch everybody running jump around i'm still in my seat i, I ain't moved teacher now everybody got a fucking uh miss recess and shit Motherfucker, I was counting on going out fucking side. You get what I'm saying? But I can't. Because y'all, because y'all, y'all are stopping us. You get me? Y'all are keeping us back. Don't blame the white man. Mm -mm. Now, look, let me explain like this. I'm, I'm the type of person who believes that uh, I, I, I can't even be mad at the white man for coming up with an ideal and going through with it. It was like, hey, yeah, I want to go over here and take these uh, dudes over here. And uh, I was going to say niggas. Go take these niggas over here from Africa and bring them back. Everybody was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. You get what I'm saying? Now, they go over there with this technology. You can call it guns or whatever the hell they use to capture us. You get what I'm saying? It's like, why didn't we progress like that? You get me? How did they penetrate our defenses? You get me? You keep blaming people for evolving and shit like that when you just done stop, stop. You just stopped. You just stopped evolving. The only thing that evolves with us now is dancing. We just love, love dance. We we are some uh some tap dancing niggas, ain't we? I put this soda up. I put this soda up, and I jump them, jump them, cause I don't care. I don't, I don't care, 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 care. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but this gonna get, this video gonna get flagged. I know it is because it's talking too much sense. You get me? They do not want me on to to be seen. <laughs> I'm probably killing myself. I know I'm gonna end up killing. If I ever make it big, they gonna kill me. I know they don't. Hey, uh, yeah, man. You get me? You gotta stop blaming the white man. You get me? Even our relationships. You get me? Our relationships even suck. Nobody told y'all to act like that. We actually used to have good relationships before waiting in hell. Wade Nick's hell and the color purple got into y'all. Nobody had told y'all to be like that. You get me? Ain't nobody uh, write a script and tell y'all to follow it, but y'all did. Y'all did. You get me? Anyway. Yeah.